With most of the astronaut corps on stage, a mega NASA production to celebrate an upcoming return to the moon. Ladies and gentlemen, your Artemis II crew. And the first astronauts who will head there. Mission Commander Reed Weissman, a Navy fighter pilot and the previous chief astronaut. Mission pilot Victor Glover, also a Navy fighter pilot with 3,000 hours in 40 aircraft. Mission specialist Christina Cook, an electrical engineer who set a record for a woman on the space station. 328 days. Am I excited? <laughs> Absolutely. And Colonel Jeremy Hansen, a Canadian fighter pilot and a national hero. We are going back to the moon. Hansen will become the first non-American to fly beyond Earth orbit and made a point of thanking America. All of Canada is grateful for that global mindset and that leadership, so thank you. We sat down with all four at the Johnson Space Center. We've met Victor Glover before. The video just doesn't do it justice. It is pretty amazing, though. He spent 168 days on the station. What we're celebrating today is really a moment in history, not just the four names that got announced, but this is a, an, a, an amazing time for humanity. The last Apollo astronauts left the moon in 1972, before any of these crew members were born. Boosters in ignition. Last November, the first Artemis mission flew around the moon with no one on board. A successful test flight and splashdown. The Artemis II crew's 10-day mission will put humans back in lunar orbit for the first time in 50-plus years. We are the Artemis generation, and we are going back to the moon. Mission Commander Reed Weissman. Why? Why do we need to do this? Because we're humans. It's in our DNA. It's in our DNA. <laughs> if it all goes well, astronauts could land on the moon again sometime after 2025. I'm most looking forward to paving the way for the future, back to the moon, on to Mars. Together we will usher in a new era of exploration. Together we are going to the moon, to Mars, and beyond. We are going. That is the mantra these days. Listen, these four were celebrated not only in a big day at NASA. Then last night, they were at the NCAA uh, final game here in Houston. UConn and San Diego State, the entire crowd stood up, cheered on these four who will be going back to the moon late next year. Guys, I got to tell you, if you want to inspire your own kids for anything science or STEM related, astronaut related, look at the resumes of these four. All of them are very impressive individuals and in what they've accomplished. Yeah. Back to you guys. It's wow. really cool. Hmm. Rock stars. I love that they got the standing over. I know. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Them. All right. And you actually fantastic. spent some time. That's right. We uh, During the pandemic, we talked to Victor Glover, and in fact, he is a fellow Sigma uh, fraternity. Oh, oh there you what's go. the secret handshake? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I tell you, it's not a secret. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.